Hey, Vinyl Community, welcome back to another episode of Arby's Vinyl Corner. Episode number two in the year 2018, and I am extremely excited about the things I'm about to show you. Um, today, I'm uh, going to show you my latest purchase in my Saxon collection, which is a fantastic box set that's called the Vinyl Horde. I'm going to show you what's inside this box in this video. Also, uh, just came in today, something I'm really excited about is the 20th anniversary edition of Glory to the Brave, which is the debut album of the Swedish heavy metal band Hammerfall. And I'm also going to show you some footage from live concerts of Hammerfall that I recorded last year, exactly a year ago, by the way, here in Utrecht. And uh, I'm also going to do an unboxing uh, of a wonderful box set. I'm not going to tell you what. You have to stay tuned to see that unboxing and to see what I'm about to show you. Um, if you do like heavy metal, please stay tuned. If you don't like heavy metal, but you happen to like me, then please stay tuned. If you don't like heavy metal and you don't like me, what are you doing here? Saxon. This is a um, 8 LP, actually these are 4 double LPs of live concerts recorded uh, during Saxon concerts uh, throughout 1995 all the way to 2006. And uh, this is a box that I really wanted to have for a while, I just didn't get into it. You know, last year was crazy with uh, great releases uh, on different genres, different genres I like, and there was a lot of stuff that I really needed to get, so sometimes I just had to shift in what do I get and what don't. Uh, but uh, this is one of the things that I really needed uh, before it would be gone. And I think this is one of the box sets that when it's gone, it's gone. Uh, and then it will go up in price. I got a very good deal on this one, so I immediately um, took it. Um, this is uh, the Vinyl Horde. And uh, you're looking at wonderful artwork, uh, which is done by Paul Gregory, which is the artist that does a lot of stuff for Saxon. And I think I already showed you some of that stuff in my Saxon video that I recorded uh, a couple of months ago. If you want to see that, just go back to my videos, uh, because there is one video somewhere that I'm showing you my complete Saxon collection up to that point. Uh, this box set contains albums that were recorded during uh, four different tours and um, I don't know if you can see the sticker here uh, it's a little bit vague I think but those were the Dogs of War tour in 1995 which was a special tour because that one introduced the new guitarist which was Duke Skerritt and uh, so then the second vinyl LP in this one is the Lionheart tour from 2004 and then we have the third one, which is A Night Out with the Boys, 2005. And then we have Rock Sound Festival, 2006. Now, the Dark of War Tour was previously released on CD as uh, The Eagle Has Landed, Volume 2. And then the Lionheart Tour from 2004 and A Night Out with the Boys was previously being released on CD as uh, The Eagle Has Landed, Part 3. And Rock Sound Festival actually was only released as a DVD, uh, but now makes its debut on vinyl. Um, and that also counts for uh, The Eagle Has Landed Part 2 and 3. Those were never been released on vinyl before. So this actually, all these albums within this box set, uh, they make their debut on vinyl. So this is a fantastic set. Really, I mean, I'm really happy to have this and to finally hold this in my hand. Uh, this is the flip side. Uh, with all the uh, contents of this box set. Now let's gonna, let's go and look what's inside. First we have uh, the Dogs of War Tour. So look at this. Every album in this box set comes as a gatefold with pictures from the actual concert. 
and track listing on the flip side. They all have a similar layout. And then, like I said, they all come like uh, a gatefold with some extremely cool pictures inside and then some lunar notes also. And then the vinyl, they are all household in white inner sleeves, plastic inside. But the cool thing about this is it's all on 180 gram vinyl. In this case, they are all on gold vinyl. The box set is released by Demon Records, which is the same label that also released the Eagles and Dragons box set that I showed you in a previous video. If you want to see that box set, then look up my Saxon video somewhere here on my page. So this is pretty cool stuff. All right, and the record sounds great. All right, nothing wrong with the sound here. And I really do like these live concerts from Saxon. Saxon never, 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 ever disappointed me on any live recording. All the live recordings I have heard and seen from them are absolutely amazing. Um, so this is Dark of War tour. Then we have the second one in the box set is the Lionheart tour. Uh, Lionheart was a very, very, very well received album by Saxon. And also the tour was really pretty amazing. They really were on fire during the uh, concerts they did on this tour. And uh, this was uh, released previously as the Eagles Landed Part 3 CD 2. The inside of the gate pool has some amazing pictures as well. And then the vinyl again, let me show you one more time, but it's in all the LPs, it's the same. It's all with the Demon Records label and then all on gold vinyl. So I'm not going to show you all, but this is basically what it is. So, but it's pretty cool guys, man. This is a, this is a great box set with great value for the money that it actually costs because it's not really very expensive. Lionheart Tour 2004. Then the third one is A Night Out with the Boys 2005. And this actually was a um, show that was uh, done in favor of 25 years of a new wave of British heavy metal. So this was an anniversary concert. And what they did is uh, playing actually a lot of songs they didn't play a lot or never played before, but were all classics. So some of the songs on this one, This Town Rocks, Backs to the Wall, Red Line, Stand Up and Be Counted, Never Surrender, all classic uh, Saxon songs. Frozen Rainbow, Susie Hold On, Play It Loud, Warrior, To Hell and Back Again, Stallions of the Highway, of course, Wheels of Steel and Band Play It On, and Crusader. Classic Saxon songs that are not... Um, often part of their set list. So this is an amazing live album. So this is uh, A Night Out with the Boys, 2005. And then finally we have Rock Sound Festival, 2006. And uh, again, a great set list here, uh, great songs. Flip side. And again, a nice gatefold cover filled with pictures from the show. I mean, I can't tell you enough how excited I am about this fantastic box set, the Vinyl Horde. This is going to take, or uh, this is going to spend a lot of time on my turntable, I can tell you for sure. Saxon, Vinyl Horde. Cool stuff. <laughs> And then we're up to Hammerfall, Glory to the Brave, 20th Anniversary Edition. Damn. Can you believe it? It's already been 20 years ago since Glory to the Brave was released, 1997. And I can remember that like the day of yesterday. Uh, let me tell you something about this. Back in the day, in 1997, I was pretty much uh, new into heavy metal. 
1995, I discovered the genre through The Gathering. And I think I told you something about that in my Fur uh, uh, video that I did in December. Uh, so after I heard The Gathering's Mendelian, after that, I started to discover uh, heavy metal. First with Iron Maiden, and then it went very fast. I started to listen to a lot of different uh, bands. And one of my most favorite genres in the heavy metal genre was uh, power metal and you know the more traditional oriented metal where there's a lot of melody and high vocals and i remember my uncle was also a fan of heavy metal and hard rock and he read a review about this album that just was released in uh, a dutch um, heavy metal magazine which is called art schok which is a very famous uh, heavy metal uh, magazine here in the netherlands and he read a review and uh, he said, whenever this guy writes a review which is positive, most of the time the stuff he talks about is very exciting. And the guy who wrote that review on this one was totally, totally crazy about this debut album of Hammerfall. And so my uncle bought the CD blind. And he bought it and he listened to it and then he called me and he said, Richard, what I discovered now is completely amazing. So you have to come over so that I can you know, let you hear it. So I went to my uncle and he put up the CD of Glory to the Brave, which just had been released. And whenever the first notes of the song, uh, The Dragon Lies Bleeding, uh, came to the speakers, I went like, oh my freaking God, amazing. It had everything that I liked about heavy metal. Double bass drum, uh, flashy guitar work, and it had a, a, de a very decent singer with high vocals that I really loved. Another thing that, um, that I recognized from that debut album was that this one was actually uh, one of the guitarists that participated here was called Jesper Stromblad. And that happened to be the guitarist for the band In Flames. And right in that time, I started to also discover a little bit of the melodic death metal scene. And Arch Enemy and In Flames were actually the first ones that I ever heard. And I was immediately sold. Uh, when I heard that melodic stuff that was combined with the brutal vocals and that kind of stuff. Um, so it was a winner before I even heard it. But when I heard it, I immediately bought the CD myself. And it's one of the CDs that I have played uh, the most back in those days. So 1997 was a pretty good year for uh, heavy metal releases. Bruce Dickinson came with Accident of Birth. Uh, we had a Hammerfall Glory to the Brave. We had uh, Halloween coming up with great stuff. It was a great year. So anyway, um, it was uh, uh, whenever that album came out since then, I started to follow this band and I've seen them many times in concert. With the Glory to the Brave tour, with the Heeding the Call tour, uh, sorry, uh, Legacy of Kings, the, the album was called Legacy of Kings. And I kept following them for a couple of years until I think their album Unbowed on Band Unbroken. And after that, I don't know exactly why, but I started losing a little bit of their interest. And then after losing interest, and, and then, you know, I just, you know, started to focus on different other kinds of music and other genres until uh, not 2016, towards the end of 2016, when I heard their new single, uh, which was uh, on uh, YouTube. Uh, my, I just, um, it was like an advertisement that caught my attention that said the new single by Hammerfall. And I suddenly was thinking, oh my God, Hammerfall, are they still around? Because back in the day when this album came out, I just hoped that they would stay around. I just thought that maybe this is one of those bands that were just, you know, they're making one or two albums and then they disappear from the scene. But 20 years later, they're still as active as ever. So when in 2016 I heard the uh, new single, which was called Hammer High, it was like time actually stood still. I thought, oh man, this is everything that Hammerfall was in this time is still there. They have these uh, great choirs, melodic uh, sing-along uh, uh, choruses and songs about battle and, you know, kings and knights and templars and all that stuff. Really, really amazing. And so when I heard that new song, it immediately reawoke 
my uh, my love for this band and so I started to go back into their back catalog try to catch up with all the stuff that I missed immediately bought the new album which is built um, built to last and um, and then in January when they played a concert here in my hometown I didn't hesitate to go there and it really really reawoke my uh, my love for this band and which now continues to grow again so again anyway uh, Glory to the Brave was one of those fantastic albums that is absolutely part of the soundtrack of my life and so I was really excited that when this um, actually uh, celebrated the 20th anniversary I needed to get this uh, the artwork is amazing look at this guys you know every decent heavy metal band has their own mascot right and Iron Maiden has Eddie and Hammerfall has Hector and Hector is a pretty cool character here holding a huge hammer and uh, one of the things uh, with Hammerfall is they always always have fantastic artwork and Hector is always coming back in that artwork so just take a look at this fantastic right and the flip side this is actually a double LP and it comes with a lot of extra bonus songs here Side A and Side B is the original album. Side C has amazing bonus tracks. Raven Lord, which was actually one of the songs that appeared on the uh, single of the title track, the single Glory to the Brave. And Raven Lord was one of the songs on that single. Then we have The Metal Age, Live in 1998. Steel Meets Steel, Live in 1998. Stone Cold, Live in 1998. And then the D side has Glory to the Brave from 2012. Hammerfall Live 2012. The Dragon Lies Bleeding live in 2012 and then Glory to the Brave the Medley live 2017 which I have seen with my own eyes because they also played that during the concert they did here in Utrecht. Uh, what can I say guys the artwork of this is fantastic I just really love this it's I'm gonna really treasure this one. Here are all the lyrics yeah it's really cool and I actually played this today and compared it with the uh, older recordings because these are all also remastered especially for this 20th anniversary edition and it sounds amazing. Um, I think it's much fuller and richer of sound than the original one. There's uh, certainly the bass did improve on this one. So I'm going to take it out. They come in plain black sleeves but the vinyl itself in this case is wonderful kind of a gold color. There you go. And it has Hector on the label. There you go. And the other one. <clears throat> so the other one here. Is uh, also on gold vinyl. But the label has the Hammerfall logo on it. So there you go. Hammerfall. And again. I played this and it sounds amazing. It really, I really feel that the sound of this is an improvement on the original. So only for that is worth purchase. Now it also comes as a CD box set with a double CD, which has some even some more content, and it also has a fantastic DVD with a lot of uh, stuff. Actually, I think it's a single CD with all the stuff that's also here and a double DVD. Anyway. Fantastic stuff with new, newly recorded interviews and a nice booklet with a lot of information inside it. But I just don't have it yet, but that's one that I'm going to purchase also because I think I need that in my collection. So, that's Hammerfall Glory to the Brave 20th Anniversary Edition. Now, I hope you're not tired of me yet because the most excited thing is about to come right now. Because we're going to do an unboxing of a fantastic box set that I just need to show you. Highly anticipated of me. I wanted to have this for uh, over a year now. It just, what? It just didn't. You know, there was so much released, and there was so much stuff I needed to get. I just uh, didn't came to that to buy it. But I finally uh, did, and it came in. And I, I just, I regret the fact that I didn't uh, get this earlier on. But I find it's finally here, so I'm going to show you. Here we go. <laughs> This is how they sent their catalog.
that you want to carry this about this right to the side. So all in once, I do have all the vinyl albums of Hammerfall. And there's just one exception. There is one album that's not included in this box set, and that's Crimson Thunder, uh, One Crimson Night, which is a live album that was recorded right after the release of Crimson Thunder. Uh, yeah, that's a miss. I, I mean, they just put everything in here, so why not that one? But other than that, uh, it's a fantastic set, and I'm going to show you how it looks like. Uh, first of all, the box set has an amazing logo on the front, which is really shiny. The Hammerfall, the vinyl collection. It's pretty heavy, guys. It's really, really heavy. Uh, here is the uh, the back, the spine, and then we have all the content listed on the flip side. Glory to the Brave from 1997 all the way to Revolution in 2014. Now, this is a slipcase cover, so it actually comes out. It has a black inside. And it's just plain black, with the exception, of course, of the spine. And then here are all the albums. And it's all similar artwork. Uh, so, for whatever reason, uh, the makers of this box set decided not to use all the original artwork on the front covers of these uh, uh, LPs, but to give them all the same so that it really is a, uh, uh, a unique uh, release. Uh, every album here it is unique for this box set. So not to sold separately, I think. Uh, but what they did is they included a very, very nice book. I'm going to show you, which is really amazing. It's really cool how they did this. Uh, and again, on the flip side, we have the content of all the albums. And the book itself contains, and you can see it here, artwork. It contains all the artwork for every cover of the albums. And exactly as the way they appeared on the original. So we have the front cover, the back cover, and the inside with all the lyrics to the songs. So they didn't use it on the actual albums in this box set, but they did uh, publish it in this very nice book. So I'm just gonna go through it for a moment. Here we have all the covers listed together so these are all the covers and then here we have the original artwork for their debut album glory to the brave and you can see it already was amazing i mean hector is a cool character and it returns on each and every hammerfall album so just compare it now because the 20th anniversary edition they changed it a little bit they really make it See, this is the 20th anniversary, and this is the original, which was amazing also. But I really, I really like what they did with all the yellow and the gold in the 20th anniversary, because it's, of course, it's a golden celebration. So, there you go. And then, like I said, the inside of this book, I'm going to change the angle of the camera just a little bit, so that you can see the inside of the book a little bit better. So, here we go. So we have Glory to the Brave, and then we have the inside. And this is actually how the CD also, what the CD looked like. So here are all the lyrics, and then we have the flip side of the album, the original flip side. And then we'll continue to the 1998 album Legacy of Kings, which is an amazing album, guys. Legacy of Kings was actually, to be honest, a little bit better than Glory to the Brave. It had a better production. The sound was much fuller, and they really uh, they created a, uh, a stable band lineup. All the lyrics and uh, the flip side is exactly the same as the original. And we have Renegade, the third album, same thing. All the lyrics and the flip side. Here is a great cover, Crimson Thunder. And uh, that's what the whole book is about. So I'm gonna go through it a little bit. We have uh, Unbowed, Unbent, Unbroken, Chapter 5, also subtitled chap Chapter 5. 
Uh, then we have threshold and uh, continue on with uh, masterpieces. Actually, it's a cool double album that was included in this box set that contained all the cover songs that recorded during their career up to that point. And uh, I'm just going to go through the list of cover songs. A Child of the Damned that actually appeared on the um, debut album, but that was a cover of Warlord. And then we have Raven Lord, Eternal Dark, Back to Back, I Want Out from Halloween. And actually that's a cool one because it's Kai Hansen from Halloween and from Gamma Ray, of course, himself, who is singing and playing along with that one. A lot of songs, Man on the Silver Mountain, uh, let's see, Breaking the Law from Judas Priest. Uh, we have Rising Force from Momstein, Detroit Rock City from A Kiss. And uh, let's see, let's see what do we have more. Uh, and Aphasia, which is a cool one, just an instrumental that originally was done by Europe. And you all know what I think about Europe, right? No Sacrifice, No Victory, which is a pretty cool title, by the way, because it's so true. The most, um, the album that deviated a little bit from their traditional sound is called Infected. Um, a lot of fans didn't like it because they deviated too much from the traditional heavy metal sound. Uh, so after that they quickly returned to the traditional sound. Uh, for the first time ever on vinyl is um, Gates of Dalhalla. And that's uh, uh, actually this is a, a four disc registration of a fantastic live concert. Pretty cool. And then the final album which is Revolution. And then the latest album, which is called Built to Last, is not included because that one came out on a different label. Because after they left Nuclear Blast, uh, they went uh, on and continued with Napalm Records. So the last album was actually uh, recorded with Napalm Records. But that's here behind me, that's called Built, Built to Last. But guys, let me tell you, man, isn't this a fantastic set? Now, like I said before, I'm just going to take the mouse so that I can show you a little bit. All the albums inside this box set uh, have the same artwork so everything is the same so it's all like this the only thing which is different is then the title here so this is revolution and then we have gates of dalhalla and on and on so all the artwork here is the same uh, the original artwork is all included in the book on the flip side then we have the uh, wonderful uh, titles and the, 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 the contents of the album and then in this case this box set was actually pressed in a couple of different uh, colored vinyls and I got myself the clear vinyl and I love clear vinyl I don't know why it's really beautiful and they all look like this so I'm just gonna take out one because they're all the same they look like this and look at the label I love this label watch this really really cool I hope you can see it it's pretty shiny, silver, and very, very classy. I think the artwork of this is very, very classy. It really is somewhat of a celebration. That's really cool. Now, we can argue about the fact that um, uh, if it would be better if they would, you know, include all the albums in the original artwork, I would have loved that also. But I have to say that I like the unity of this whole set. It really makes this... A unique box set instead of all separate albums and uh, there is something to say for that as well and uh, so um, all the original artwork is included in the book anyway guys I'm so freaking excited with this set it's really I feel like a small child really I'm so happy with this one to finally have all this stuff of Hammerfall on vinyl um, I ordered this box set through Nuclear Blast um, which uh, nuclearblast.de, which is uh, a German uh, website, <coughs> and we all know Nuclear Blast, of course, also as a label of releasing fantastic heavy metal albums. And the website has a lot of merchandise: uh, shirts, uh, hoodies, uh, records, vinyl records, CDs, DVDs, you name it. It's all there. Everything heavy metal is there. And uh, this was actually the first time. And no, I'm not gonna get paid for this I don't want to make a, a commercial I'm not uh, sponsored by nuclear breast or whatever I just wanted to say that uh, this was my first time experience with nuclear blast and it was gene wine it was really 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 good I ordered this box set last Sunday and it came in today today it's Wednesday from Germany to Holland 
know, very fast delivery, very well packed. You saw my unboxing, so it was really, really well protected um, inside the box. So I'm really uh, happy um, the way they did it. And if you saw the unboxing part of this video, you also see that there was another album included in that box, which is uh, Children of Bottom. And uh, in this case, the latest album, I Worship Chaos. Now, I did not order this one. When I went to the website of Nuclear Blast and ordered the box set and the uh, 20th anniversary um, LP of Glory to the Brave, there was actually an option there that said, uh, choose your extra. And then you could choose uh, for uh, a sample CD or a surprise CD and it also or a surprise vinyl. And I, of course, as a uh, vinyl collector, I clicked on surprise vinyl and it's just completely free. They don't charge you anything extra for it. And the surprise vinyl that came in in that box was uh, Children of Bottom, uh, which is their latest album that came out in 2015. I didn't ask for this, it came for free. They didn't have to do this, but they did. And I think that says something about the surface of uh, this uh, fantastic uh, web uh, site and uh, web shop. So I'm really excited about this because Children of Bottom is actually one of the few melodic death metal bands I used to listen to in the end of the 90s. In that time era of Hammerfall and, uh, and when they came up, I started listening to this stuff as well and more extreme kind of metals like uh, Demi Borgir and Cradle of Filth. In Flames was one that I was really excited about and I still listen to them today. And Arch Enemy is one of the other ones that I followed. And then Children of Bottom came with their debut album and I bought that and I, I, there was actually a, quite a time at least for three albums and a live album they did, I followed them, saw them many times live in concert. and But then all of a sudden, somewhere, I lost interest a little bit. But it's really cool that today, uh, in that package, this album came in because I'm absolutely going to spin this and going to give this uh, a listen. It, it came in, in my package, it was totally free, it's just an extra surface of Nuclear Blast. Really excited. So, my first time experience with Nuclear Blast I'm very, very positive. Again, fast delivery. I just ordered Sunday night, it came in today. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's very quick and uh, very well packed. Uh, the, the price is really good. Uh, I don't have the feeling or the idea that I pay too much for this. And this came in totally free. Freaking awesome studio album from 2015 of Children of Bottom. So, again, um, this is uh, pretty much it for today. I'm going to show you some, we're going to leave with some live footage from Hammerfall that I want to show you that I recorded in January 2017 during their concert here in Utrecht. And then I will be back uh, next uh, week with another video. The next one is going to be about Anneke van Giersbergen. I told you about her in my video in December about Fuhr. Um, I'm going to go to an Anneke van Giersbergen event this weekend and I'm going to tell something about it in the next video. And then I think pretty much after that uh, I will go to a Saxon concert and then also the new album by Saxon which is called Thunderbolt will be released by then. So the next, that video after that is probably going to be uh, based on Saxon, the concert in Tilburg and the new album and then after that I will return with another Elvis Presley video. I know it's something completely different than this but I have a lot of followers that love Elvis Presley and expect me to do some of that stuff so hopefully I then will be able to talk about the new FTD releases so if you Elvis Presley fans have sit this video all the way through I promise you after the next two videos, I will come back with an Elvis Presley video. Until then, take care and I hope to see you in the next episode of Arby's Vinyl Corner.